Welcome back, folks. This is lesson 64. And uh, we're doing a little painting today. I, I did a, a course at uh, Bicton College in, in, in Devon. And they, they, they organised a coach trip across the Dartmoor, which is lovely. And uh, it, this, is, this is the picture we, we're going to paint. This is, this is Dartmoor. It's, uh, it's a beautiful place. But in the bad weather, it can be foreboding, and this day was foreboding. It uh, the, the the coach was it was pouring. We were sat in this coach and walking. Then all of a sudden, the the weather changed about one o'clock, and it changed for about an hour. And I says, "Come on, folks, let's get our story up. Let, let's let's paint something." So this is this is what uh, what we we saw. So so we painted this and. All around us all the time was uh, was Dartmoor ponies, which, which you know were wild. The colours I want you to use today are a French ultramarine and burnt umber, and a French ultramarine on its own. That's the starters off. So let, let's get cracking, shall we, and see where see where we go. It's I, the, the this is, this hill here is a hill, not a mountain. Is behind this one here, and this one. This is a, a range, and there's a few rocks in the foreground here. So that, that's the distant one, and these are sort of close-up job, and there's Heather about. Let's see how we go. So first of all, this, I'm doing the sky first. Let's come to the sky. I don't want any 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 sort of rosy and sunshine in this one. It's it, it's a bit it's a bit of a dodgy sky. So I'm I'm just putting on some water, not all over it, just just randomly. And the first girl I want to introduce is. Is some of this blue. Let's have some blue. This is negative. You might make it a bit better day later. This, this is the bit of blue we got in that in that hour. I don't know where it came from, but uh, it was it was pleasant. It was soggy but pleasant. So uh, it, it, it was it was delightful at the end. That because a lovely crowd of people, which, which is even better. So what I'm going to try and do here is, is try and manage the sky by, by having the sky quite light here because that's going to be a dark dark hill, isn't it? And then across this side, we're going to have it with dark to, to stand out against this sunlit. This is sunlit, by the way. Let's see what we can do with that. And this area is, is, is really dodgy. Take it down to the. It's even dodgy than that. I, I, I thought it was dodgy enough. It's not. I do mean dodgy, and that's dodgy. When I mean dodgy, I mean you know bad. So that, I mean people that's listening from uh, from abroad might not understand my my Yorkshire, but uh, I'm, I'm sorry if I'm confusing you. But I'm trying to get this, this dark down to this hillside here. Because what you try to do all the time is get your darkest darks against your lightest lights. And that's when you get nice contrast. Beautiful. That's what it's all about, contrast. So hopefully, this sky, and this paper, you say this is on order, it gives me time to sort of play It's not. It's not. It's. It's very forgiving. It's. It's. It's got a slight bit of wetness on it. It'll, it'll soak it up, and give me a chance to make a, a a bit of an approach to that that area there. So how we go. But I purposely left this this hillside sort of well ne ne nearly white. It is. See what we've got. down here. And believe me, I, I, we only got an hour, that's all we got. And, and that's, that's what I'm trying to put across to you in an hour. Everybody on, on the on the course and that were, were lovely people they were and uh, we all got we had a cracking time. It wasn't it wasn't weather like this all the time but uh, but this day we had to make the best of it. I'll just take that well out of there. And Bicton College, it's, it's an agricultural college. 
but it was a course by uh, Saga. And Saga used the, the facilities of the, the college when they, they were on holiday. Especially, was the full facilities and all, all their rooms were being used. It was, it was really nice. I enjoyed it. Fantastic. I did a similar one in uh, in Durham, uh, up at Trevelyan College. But uh, we'll see how we go. Anyway, that, that's that's. I wonder if it is dark enough. That let me see if I can make it worse. So back to time. So with this paper, you've got back to time. You don't you don't have to rush it. You can make it even worse. Look at that, eh? Ooh, lovely. That's another cloud on top of it. I'll take it right down to this, this, this side again here. So even though it's a dark sky, you, you can still have interest in it. It doesn't have to be all, all dodgy. You can, uh, you can put darker bits in, which is, which is nice. I keep mixing a little bit more because I'm to make sure it's dark. That's it, lovely. And perhaps a bit of dark up here as well. Close that corner down. There's a little bit of a glow there in the weather. Not much, I'll tell you. But the sun came out and that's the bit we got. Right, that's dry now. So uh, now I'll, t I'll try this. We'll do this background hill here, which is which is a, a bluey tinge because it's further back than this, and and I've set the light bit against that, so I can darken that, put a nice dark bluey colour in that. Well, some let's, let's get some more blue mixed there, and have it quite dark. But I'll have a touch of alizarin crimson into that just to see if that's the colour I want. Yeah, let's just do this. So the light today, folks, is coming from, let me see now. Uh, let's say it's coming from, coming from this, this right here. I'm just doing the outline of this, this background hill. It's not a mountain, don't forget folks. This is where the front hill starts just here. It's a simple picture this, but it's uh, it's, it's, it's worth having to go at it, especially if you're a beginner. It, it just, it, it's not a lot, not a technical bit in it. It's, it's, it's just having to go and having some fun. So the light's coming from the right, isn't it? So on, on this side here, it'll be dark, won't it? And that's why I say, use your darks against your lights and your lights against your darks. And sculpture, sculpture the hillside a little bit. Same colour as what we're still using. So we've got and use it as a ridge coming down here like. That's it, get that flashed in there. Bit of movement on the top there. Clean the brush out. I put a bit of light bit there, lift it out a bit. The colour. The other colour out. The sun's on it. That's better. Right, now I can tattle this, this hillside here. Now what, what I want to start, this, this one, this one just here, coming down to these rocks, that's our focal point, the rock there, you see, on the thirds. And 
then the, this I want to do this background one first so there's there's one coming down here like this I'll keep off that for a bit and do that one first and that one so that one and that one is, is, is similar picture flame so let's do this one and I want to paint this start painting some rich greens on this because it's it's on the moors it's, it's, it's get plenty it gets plenty of plenty of water and that so it's it's not it's not dodgy it's it's rich it's, it's full of and of course the, the Dartmoor ponies they, they keep it all all manicured if you like so we'll see how we see how we start off with that I'll just do a, this is cadmium yellow I'm using and I'm going to use some winter blue red shade with it and just just put a, a coat of that on Let's see if it's right that that'll do this is a, this is just a, an undercoat if you like for a start see how we go with that And we can put our sculpting lines on later in a, in a, in a stronger colour. But all I'm trying to do is get these get these uh, these contrasts done first. And I'll take this down to this this rock here. And that one comes down as far as that it, it it's all undulating the the the, the dark more but I don't, well if you've never been it's it's a, it's a wonderful experience and of course there's, there's, there's all sorts out there there's there's ponies and sheep and uh, and of course there's a, there's a, even a, a prison a print town it's called which uh, I don't think many people escape from there because it's, it's miles from anywhere it is I'll tell you not very good not very good to, to be escaping. Right, let's just, just I'll mix a little bit more of that that colour from the sky. That's the French ultramarine and burnt umber. I want to use some of that for use another shadow side of this this hill if I can. Let's see how we go. So that's it's, it's shadowy down here. I think I might let that dry a bit before I try that because I'm, I'm, I'm getting ambitious. I'll put this other one in first. That's what I'll do. Same colours, cadmium yellow and winter blue red shade. Blocking it in with the undercoat. And this, this is the stronger one. This one is, is, is closer to us, so I might make that a little bit stronger with our colour. Let's see what the value of that is. This will be stronger in value as it comes towards us. Some darky bits mixed with the more 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 winds of blue in it'll, it'll make it a real juicy dark it will that so that the light's coming from the, the right isn't it so we'll probably get some really juicy bits down here and uh, on this 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 big one here I like that's a bit better, that's dry now. I think I'll try a smaller brush to just to get away with that. See how we go. Now 
some glue into that. So this the lights from there, so we'll get some darks down here, won't we? We sculpture the hillside. Same with this one, we'll take this, some, some of these darks down here. Oh, a bit more blue in that. More dark on that. It's all about light and shade and, and, and getting it, try and get it so it makes a, a, a contrast so that when someone's looking at your painting, they'll say, wow, that, that, that's, it, it hits them straight away. You want to create a, an atmosphere with it. So look at this one, a bit more of that. There's some of these blue, blues going down here like this tumbling down this. And of course, this is the side of the hill into the dark side. in yellow now just to try and lighten some of that dark there. So it's just not just a block of, of, of colour. some cadmium lemon in this I think just to it might work I don't know if it doesn't I'll cover it up so I want, I want the sun to catch it this 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 area here so it's just really beating on down it on, on this area a bit better than that though it's not really good no? and cadmium uh, cadmium lemon of course it is an opaque color so we, we should be able to cover all right there without, without any problem Let's just see how we go. That's better. That's catching that sunlight from the right hand side. Just it in that hillside. Right, just where I want it. And of course the same will happen on this side here. So I want to make this one brighter as well. That'll define it better. Just here on the tip of that one. I'll put some greens into that uh, into that cadmium lemon just to soften the bottom part of it. As it comes down to the hill, this front uh, front hill.
I'll keep this one down. This one comes down to the, the, the joining hill because this one's slightly in front of it, isn't it? that a bit there a bit more blue in it I've got a little pot of separate blue there which if it's not if it's not the colour I want I can add blue to it and, and strengthen it a bit which, which I, I'm trying to do I want this line to come this line to come in front of that there I'm taking that this hill in front of it. There, there it goes. Let's see if I can make, I can make this bit sunny as it's catching the sun as well. We'll have some more chamomile lemon in there like that. So sort of lighten the hillside. Whilst we're up there, this hour we were out of the coach painting. Uh, it, it, all around us are these, these Dartmoor ponies and if you've got any any fruit or any apples or anything like that in your bag they'll have it they're, 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 they're wonderful thieves that, that they're in there and out and gone before you know where you are so it's quite funny to watch them they finish it with a few because the, the, the college gave us a sort of a packed lunch and there was a fruit and stuff, stuff like that in it and, and of course then the the uh, the pawn is there, most of it. But I, I, on, recounting this and talking to the people that we, were, that we had a good time, uh, even though this, this day was a, a real bad day for weather, it was awful. The, uh, this hour we stopped and, and had to sort of get our finger out and, and, and produce something in an hour, which usually sometimes they, they start fiddling, you know, and uh, because I, I sort of wound them up a bit and said come on get cracking uh, they, they produced some lovely stuff they did absolutely stunning and, and the person that rang me up and said uh, Frank can we do something like that again I said, and uh, I, I, it brings back memories I hope you don't mind me, me doing this and uh, sharing it with you right So uh, this this hillside here, just, I've lost me lost my plot there, so I'll strengthen that again. A bit more yellow than that. Just catching the sun. a bit dodgy that bit there so we better put something in there uh, let's see yeah a bit of don't be too light or it'll look crazy I'll do this front bit, but when that bit, I'm going to strengthen them, them darks a bit. So let's do, do this front bit. Uh, mix a bit of colour for this. We'll have, we'll have a nice bright green because it's coming towards us. I'll mix a separate pot of that. A nice bright green. Put some cameo lemon into that. 
that. Let's see how we go. Kevin and Emma and some Windsor Blue Red shade. That's a good combination, folks. That. Be careful on the on the red shade uh, Windsor because it, it is a strong colour. And it'll take over and kill you, kill your yellow if you're not careful. Let's, let's, let's put the, the undercoat on this. Let's see if it's right first. Let's see. A bit strong that but we'll see how we go I want to bring it forward This is a weird combination, I'm sorry. But if you don't try something different, you, you, you'll, you'll stick to your same colours all the time, won't you? I'll just get this down here. Now to bring this towards me, I'll have some, I'll have some dark in this as well here. Winds of blue and the and the cabin yellow. This, this, just to make it really dark and and that just here. So you're looking off this, looking over this dark area, if you like. We've got this brush. Oh, look, it's water. I think what I'll do now is we'll put an undercoat on this. This here rock we've got. Seems a bit lonely, this rock. And I'm going to paint this with uh, some raw sienna. Nice colour. For an undercoat. It's a contrast with the, uh, the green, of course. Complementary colour. And as it's our focal point, he draws the eye to that and then you you wander into the rest of the painting. That's the theory anyway. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. See how we go with that. So the light's coming from the right in, so these parts of the rock will be will be in shade, won't they? As they go down into the into the rock, into the grass I should say. So I'll make that darker. Put a few, a few fissures in it, however they call it, call them, cracks. In the top of it. Right now, this side will be in sunshine, but see how we go. Same colours again. Doubt that uh, that will obviously enter into it. That, that'll do for a bit now. Uh, as, as I'm looking at this 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 thing, this I, I like that piece there. Now that that bit I want to be another 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 bash of, of, of sunlight, so I want to 
Let, let's, let's do that again, shall we? We can always put it right. We've got the technology. We can do it. So let's just put some sunlight on that hillside there. Because as I said before, the, the lightest light against the darkest dark. So he darks there and the light's here. And hopefully that's what that'll work. That nice sunlight there, and we've got sunlight on this one here, which was restating again. So we're getting all that. And we're going to get, I'm going to put some on this, this hillside here, because the sun's coming across this way, it's lovely. Yes, that's it. Catch the sun on that side. Give it some zing, a bit of bling. Right, we get, we get in there, we get in there. I want to strengthen this, this rock a little bit. Uh, what I want to do also is, is, is put some, do something with this, this grass in the foreground is, is, is just blur, it's, it's, it's nothing, so it's got to be something. And one of the things that was there, which I haven't put in yet, which I think I'm going to put in, uh, was some heather. Now, heather is, is a beautiful colour, and I think we ought to have some, don't you? Just clear spot on me. Let's mix a heather colour. I'm, I'm thinking in terms of heather, let's see, I think uh, cobalt blue would be nice. Cobalt blue with some alizarin crimson. That would give me a nice, a nice combination, I think. Put it on your test paper first, of course, don't, uh, don't risk it at that. Let's have a test paper on this. See where we're going. That's a bit, a bit miserable. A bit more blue in there. So it, I hope we do use a bit of test paper because it it, it certainly helps. And uh, put some grasses in there first. Let's strengthen up this grass area up. dark greens in and we're going to get some uh, some of this stuff you know it's close to the rocks and that isn't it it's on the moors you've got to anchor that rock anywhere it's just floating in mid-air it was dark mid not have been that a bit across there, some grasses. Right, I want to introduce now some of this, let's introduce some of this here. Uh, Twitches of head there, yeah. Flick it in like this. Bit brighter than that, this heather. I haven't quite got the colour right. Come on, come on, get the colour right. Use the tip of the, of the pushing. I'm pushing the stuff up. I've got rough paper, and this 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 heather will uh, 
we'll, we'll, we'll scatter if you like. I'll wet the page a bit more there. In that as well, that might help. That's this is alizarin crimson. This is just a, I'm dotting it about. Shooting the, the, the side of the brush and just sh shoving it in if you like, like that. I'll do it when I don't know what I'm doing. Because it works, I really enjoy it. If it doesn't work, I'm, I'm, I'm miserable the next day. But This, this little bit of heather, it, it also brings you this, this foreground closer to you. It, it, it's you're looking over the heather to the distant uh, moors. As I say, we, we only got a, a, an hour, and, and between feeding the donkeys and the, the Dartmoor ponies, I should say, and, uh, and painting, it, uh, there wasn't a lot of time. So I've got the base colour of green underneath, but this this is, is hopefully standing out on top of it. I'm sticking a bit of gouache on this. This is that white gouache stuff I told you about, and it's not going. It's not showing white, but it's just it's what it's doing. I'm dipping it in the white, and it's got this colour already on the brush, so it's it's painting it the the a similar colour to the the heather. it down here. Get this a bit more green into here. That's anchoring that uh, that bit of rock down. I don't I don't overdo this so if you do it it looks absolutely well not good. I've be careful of my terminology when I'm recording. I tend to get a bit flowery. Oh, that's better. I like that. Let's colour forward. And of course, what you'll also get, if you're careful, you can just indicate some of this stuff, just a, a touch of it, on these hillsides as well. No, don't, don't, don't overdo it. Just it's this sort of thing, you know. So you're getting this purpley touch on the on the hills as well. Because it just didn't grow in this bit here, it grows on, on, on them bits as well. So what we'll have is stuff down here. I'm enjoying this one. 
put your feather down this side as well. Be dark, of course, it's in shade. I'm trying to create, I'm doing the same thing down here. I'm trying to create a, a dark against a light. So it, it, you're repeating these themes throughout your painting. And it makes it interesting, but more interesting. Oh, a bit, bit more heather on that one. Take the brush off from me after a while. I don't want to just go mad with the heather. I think just in the in the bottom here, what I'll do now is create some shadows now on, on this this landscape. Get the right brush to do it with. That's French ultramarine in there. What we said at the first. That's a burnt umber. That should be a, a juicy dark. That should be all right. That. And let's uh, light, light from the right, isn't it? So for a start, it's going to be it's, it's going to be shaded on this side of the the rock, isn't it? So don't forget that. And on that piece there, might get a little bit on there with some twiddly bits. Where the gaps are. Some cracks in the rock. But don't do too much on it. I also want to th th anchor this 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 stuff at the bottom. It's we're not far off the, the bottom of this is tape here, but I want to anchor that this here heather. Some darks in amongst it. Touch it up there where the darks are. So that's, that's brought that, that towards us, that. Now, I've got a little bit more of this, this shadow colour light left, so I might just try and strengthen this, this shadow colour on on this hill here. That will darken that uh, darken that area there. It's sort of an exercise in, in lights and darks, this. I'll get a bit more on there, I think, just a touch. On this hillside here. A bit more contrast to that yellow there, that, that, that cadmium lemon. I don't know, that's dark enough there, and that's dark enough there. No, just a bit of dark in amongst this here. Where the heather is. I want 
to uh, perhaps just just a touch of grass or grass, whichever you come from. Uh, flicking, flicking over this 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 rock and stuff like that, it, it'll anger it more. That's all looking at the sky. Have we got any dodgy bits? There's one there, isn't there? There's one. There's one bit there. I wonder if they can be seagulls. I bet they could, you know. Let's see if I can make them into seagulls. I'm sure, we can, we can have a try anyway. On there, it's that'll do. One across there, one just here. Probably there's another dot down here, I might just put a distant one in just here. Never have two. Always have three or one. Take your pick. Uh, it's still wet. I've enjoyed that. Uh, it's reminiscing that on, on, on Dartmoor there with some lovely people. I hope I enjoyed it. I hope I loved sharing with you. But uh, if you enjoyed it, please give us a like and, and subscribe. And I'll, I'll see you on the next one. So until the next one, bye bye, folks. Bye bye. <laughs>